Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again, and look at this. This is not my regular base, that's right. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today because this is going to be the first episode of my Let's Play series, guys. As you can see, I have a Town Hall 5 right now. Um, this is going to be the first video on it. Uh, this is my heart base. It's uh, obviously a farming base design. Um, but this is going to be my first episode because I wanted you guys to see the Town Hall 5 that I had. In the next episode of this, I'm going to be Town Hall 6. Um, how long does that take? Four days? Yeah. So, um, in the next episode of this, I am going to be at Town Hall 6. And I'm pretty much maxed out right now. I can't upgrade any more of my defenses. As you can see, all my archer towers are... Um, all of my archer towers are maxed, all of my cannons are maxed at level 6, all my walls are almost maxed. Um, are these? Yeah, so, um, all my army camps, no, my army camps are not maxed. Wait, yes they are. Um, so all my army camps are maxed. Um, pretty much everything is maxed out. I can still upgrade my barracks more, um, which I might try and do before we start. But I just wanted to show this to you guys. This is a Town Hall 5. I know that a lot of my subscribers are lower levels and the Town Hall 8 um, doesn't work for you guys. So this is going to be my Let's Play. Um, I'm not trying to be original in this at all because I know that everybody does Let's Plays. But I just wanted to show you all how I would play from Town Hall 5 to Town Hall 6, so on and so forth. Um, and I'm still going to continue on my other account. I believe that in the next couple of weeks, I should be upgrading that to Town Hall 9, which is going to be awesome. Um, I'll be able to give you guys a little bit more high-level gameplay. Um, but I wanted to come down here um, and make a second account. This is Gaming with Mold. I'm in Golgotha B. Um, so you guys can join this clan. You can also join um, Golgotha C as well. Um, a lot of people are making these before I approve of them or whatever. And they're really low levels. Um, but I, I, I can't really stop people from making fake clans. Um, so yeah, but anyways guys, I am going to show you all the way that I've been attacking lately. I just put in random things. I don't use giants, I don't use wall breakers or anything like that, because at this low level, I'm going to go ahead and attack, because generally I can find a base pretty quickly. Um, because at this low level, like look at this, here we go. Well, uh, no, this one might be hard. Yeah, he is... This one will be too hard. Um, but at this low level, a lot of people... Um, have stopped playing the game and they leave all of their collectors outside of the walls and they're full and they're ready for me to steal. So I don't really need my giants or anything like that. I pretty much run with this composition. It's going to change up at Town Hall 6. Um, and I'm going to um, start using giants and wall breakers and all that kind of stuff a little bit more. Um, this one might actually be pretty good. It looks like most of his resources are in these collectors up here at the top. So um, I'm going to go ahead and attack this one, and let's see what happens with it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, let's see, is that out of range yet? Yeah, so that is out of range, um, and then I might try and, and then I'm just going to, I'm just going to go at it with um, these, oh, come on, barbarians. I'm going to go ahead and drop down some goblins right in here then to help get through the wall. Um, that wizard tower is going to do some serious work to them, but... I think we'll be able to make it. This guy's base isn't that good because as you can see down here at the bottom, he has all of his defenses, but none of his resources are down here. Um, so we are going to keep on dropping in our um, our wizards and everything like that up there at the top. Our wizards, <laughs> sorry. We're going to keep dropping our barbarians up there at the top. I really want my archers to focus on the uh, the cannons and the wizard um, so that they can take them out. He does have clan castle troops, as you can see. Um, but at this level, I'm not really too worried about messing with those. Um, I have gotten a pretty good amount of the resources so far. I really, really wish that my archers would have taken out that wizard tower because now the wizard tower is just going to kill all my goblins as well. Um, but they're going to get in there, and then I'm going to drop... Where can I drop? I'm going to drop a goblin um, down here on the bottom. I really want the rest of his troops to... Drop that one right there. And then I'm going to drop the rest of these guys in here. See if they can't... Yeah, they're not going to be able to get that much for me. Especially since that wizard tower is doing some pretty good damage to them. Um, but at this level, guys, you can't expect too much when it comes to resources. Um, but that's not a bad rate at all at Town Hall 5. 73,000 gold, 98,000 elixir. Um, <laughs> that definitely pays for the troops. 
without a question. Um, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to this new series. It should be uh, starting at Town Hall 6 very shortly. I just wanted to, as I said, show you guys my Town Hall 5 base. It is the heart design. Um, I made it myself. Since I didn't have too many walls or too many defenses, it didn't take me that long, so I didn't even have to use Clash of Clans Builder or anything like that. Um, but we are going to continue saving up. We're going to upgrade the Town Hall um, very shortly and uh, get moving on that. So, guys, I hope that you all are excited. Leave a like on this video if you're stoked about this series. Um, keep a lookout as well for Horse. That is not even close to being done with me and BJ Can Dive. Um, we're spacing it out so that it can last a while because I know you guys love that series, um, as do we. It's a lot of fun for us. It definitely, it definitely is a lot of fun for us. But I'm going to leave you guys here. As always, thank you so much for supporting. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. You guys make this all possible and you make it fun. So thank you. I mean that. Um, as always, guys, uh, keep calm and clash on for me, alright? See you guys.